Peru News Today All you need to know about to Peru Juan Pablo Vriles was crowned champion of the Santiago Challenger. Juan Pablo Vriles was crowned champion of the Santiago Challenger and equaled the record of Luis Horna and Pablo Araya. The first national racket won 2-0, with partials of 6-3 and 6-2, against Argentine Facundo Bagnes and ensured his return to the top 100 in the ATP rankings. Juan Pablo Vriles, 110th ATP, continues to bring success to Peruvian tennis. On this occasion, the first national racket won the title of Challenger 75 in Santiago after defeating 2-0, with partials of 6-3 and 6-2, the Argentine Facundo Bagnes, 147th ATP, obtaining his first title this year. In this way, the 28-year-old tennis player assured his return to the top 100 in the ATP rankings, due because it will climb 15 positions, so, as of this Monday March 18, it will be the 95th best ranked in the world. The silver medalist at the Lima 2019 Pan American Games reached six challenger titles, equaling the record of Luis Horna and Pablo Araya as the Peruvians who have lifted this type of trophies the most times. The previous championships of the popular 1B were the Challenger of Campinas, Brazil, and the Challenger of Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, in 2019, the Challenger of Biela 5, Italy, and the Challenger of Santiago, Chile, in 2022, and the Challenger of San Leopoldo, Brazil, in 2022. Let us remember that Lucho had been crowned in the Challenger of Zagreb, Croatia, Ford and Viden, Germany, in 2002, in Seville, Spain, in 2003, in Bermuda in 2004 and in Lugano, Switzerland, in 2008. Likewise, Araya claimed champion in the Challenger. For his part, Araya did it in Basel, Switzerland, and Torino, Italy, in 1981, in Messina, Italy, in 1982, Latouquet, France, in 1983, in Santiago 1986 and San Luis Potosí. Mexico, in 1991. Happy for the Peruvians who came to encourage me. After winning the title, Juan Pablo Vriles thanked his team and remembered the difficult path he had to go through before reaching the final, thank my team. This week has been like a roller coaster. We have been on the ledge the first three games, but we are here, that is tennis, he declared. The man born in Lima also took the opportunity to thank the Peruvians who came to encourage him, a special hug to the Peruvians who came today to encourage him. Always where I compete there are a couple there and it's comforting. It makes me happy too, perhaps, always be far from home, but at the same time feel close to it, he added. Likewise, the first national racket recalled that this is not the first time she has won a challenger in Santiago, Chile as she also achieved it in 2022, very happy to win another challenger tournament here in Santiago. A couple of years ago it was my turn too. Whenever I came to this country I felt very comfortable. They have always treated me excellent. I love the tournament. Having tournaments close to home is always a pleasure, she concluded. The path of Juan Pablo Vril is in the challenger of Santiago 2024. Juan Pablo Vriles arrived at the Santiago Challenger 2024 as one of the favorites to win, as he was the second best ranked, only behind the Chilean Tomas Barrios, 103rd ATP. However, his path to the final was not easy at all, because in his first three matches, he had to reach the tiebreak. His first rival was the British Paul Jubb, whom he beat 2-1 by sets of 6-3, 3-6 and 7-6, 8-6. Subsequently, he faced the Brazilian Orlando Luz, with a new victory, 6-3, 2-6, 7-6, 7-3, and then clashed with the Italian Francesco Pissarro, defeating him 7-5, 4-6 and 7-6, 5-6. Starting in the semi-finals, Virilis was able to overcome his opponents with fewer difficulties. He first beat the Canadian Liam Draxel 2-0, with partials of 6-3 and 6-2, and finally the Argentine Facundo Bagnes. Leave us your comment and subscribe to continue growing and follow us on our social networks, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Peru News Today, follow us on Facebook and Instagram.